one doctor, in this case was Dr. Rigoberto Perez, that he prepared all the canals and he alterated all the canals with the specific techniques, specific files, prepared, clean and shape. And file sample 51 was sample one, so he was calibrated. He had it to be familiar with the technique. And also, very important, without getting into uh, any legal uh, situations, since I was the associate, associate dean at the University at NOVA in charge of all the postgraduate uh, programs, I have established that no program, no student, no program director will ask for materials to a company for many reasons that I don't want to take the time to explain. But what we will do, we will buy all these materials all around the United States and we will pay uh, uh, regular uh, price, no student pricing. It's uh, uh, the price that any doctor will pay. And the reason is because when you see this block of what it says invoice to and ship to, those doctors around the country will buy those things for us. The university will reverse. So the barcode or these invoices tells the company what was, who was the doctor who purchased it. What was the price, the serial number, and the lot number of the products? Okay, uh, so we didn't want them to come up with as they have done in, in, in my endodontic life, in my research life, that the material that we just sent you, we realized they had a, a manufacturing defect and they would ruin the life of students. These were materials already in the market and we purchased all around the United States. So we have 38 samples, 76 canals which are mesial roots of lower molars because they have to have most of, it, most of them the same degree of curvature and the same radius of the curvature. And they have to have two canals, two orifices, two uh, apices, and four were for control samples, two positives and two negatives. In total, it was 84. So these were the uh, samples. And many of you probably, you haven't seen these plastic cans. This is where the film before digital x-rays we used to buy the film for our cameras, and I treasured the last 100 of these uh, canisters that I have because I cannot get them anymore. So for research, it's very, very good. But these were the teeth, and then elimination in the majority of them of the distal root. So we will eliminate the distal root. Uh, most of them were uh, straight, and the reason is that we didn't want to superimpose in the images with the micro CT. Uh, Proprative x-rays, buccal lingual, and mesial distal of that particular tooth. Uh, photographs, buccal lingual, mesial distal of the same samples. It was very well recorded. No distraction. Everything is very, very well documented in our research studies. Endodontic access opening, and we will do those access openings according to uh, 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 guidelines of access. And uh, at this time, uh, I don't want to take time on, on this course, what is a, a straight line access or a good access or not, at any rate. But for example, if we had a tooth like this and I wanted to look at the image, this will be the access that we need to obtain. Now, what's wrong with this image? Is something wrong? Yes, because this tooth is a virgin tooth. We don't do root canals on virgin teeth, okay? So what most of the samples, what we have, were this type of teeth. So once we have removed all the decay, all the enamel without support before we initiate root canal therapy, and it's exactly the same what we have to do on patients, we will build them up. Now I have a, a chamber that has four walls that can contain all my irrigants to do that root canal therapy. So uh, after that, we will establish the working length with a number 10 file, and then we'll observe that through the microscope, as you can see on the right image. And then we will confirm that with an X-ray, we will measure the canals, mid buccal lingual and mesial distal. And in one of the canals, in the, this case, uh, was the uh, lingual canal that we will put a headstrong file just to differentiate the buccal canal from the lingual canal. That's the only purpose of that. Then the sample teeth were divided in three groups the call obturation, warm obturation, and carrier base obturation systems. So here we have divided the three and my four. Uh, my fourth is that there were two positive and two negative control groups, okay? The group were soon divided again according to the degrees of the curvature and the radius. We cannot compare different techniques if one technique will have a 37 degree curvature and the other one will have 11 degree curvature. So most of the teeth had it to be almost the same curvature. 
So here are the subdivisions. You can see here that the initial buccal canal in this one is 24.3 degrees and the uh, lingual canal is 22.5. So it's really uh, not that much difference. This is a very good group. This is a very good uh, tooth to uh, uh, study. The sample uh, teeth were again uh, prepared according to the instruments that the manufacturer will have a uh, filling material. In other words, if I will prepare uh, with uh, sequence files, which are from Brassler and the K3s from Cybernendo at that time, now it's Kerr Cable, I will have to fill the canals with Active GP and Real Seal or that time Resilon. So we divide. Um, I have to tell you that uh, uh, there is one uh, group of uh, filling material which is called Softcore that that manufacturer does not have five, they don't produce five. So we documented uh, through emails our correspondence and we asked them, this is the research that we're doing, what type of files do you want us to use with that particular core of terrarium material? And they said profile and that's what we did. Then after the canals were prepared, we uh, irrigate them as a final irrigation with our EDTA for one minute on uh, each canal to eliminate the smear layer. The sample teeth were uh, altered again according to the manufacturer's uh, materials and follow manufacturer's instruction, instruction DFU directions for use. So if I prepare with GTX file and profile, I will alter it with GTX uh, alterated, which is thermafill, and also thermafill exactly to match the file that we have used. A cotton pellet was placed on the plug chamber, so uh, then at least five millimeters of cavet and then we will have the cement set in 100% humidity for 24 hours. Here is the canister, here is the, the sample uh, tooth that uh, is ready to be studied for 24 hours to allow the cement and the gutta-perch inside the canal to set. Then the sample teeth were scanned with the uh, micro CT, as uh, I'll show you in uh, the beginning. And then the data analysis, uh, was uh, done with uh, VG Studio Max. This is the, the software. And this was the statistical analysis to see the difference between coronal, middle, and apical portions.